Hello and welcome again to another video here on I want to answer some questions about things that I see on YouTube a lot that is trending to make videos about how easy it is to do stuff or how much you should be scared or something like that. So I I put on like five questions that I would like to talk about and make the H capital. There we go. Um, the very first question is how easy is it to hack a website or a server? You know, let me just add that so you system, you know, and whatever. It could be basically anything. How easy is it to hack something? Like, um, it kind of depends. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna make it as easy to understand for you now that as I possibly can explain it. There is no easy way to hack anything. You will require some sort of knowledge about the system, the website, the server, like the whatever the thing you're gonna hack. Now, of course, it does exist that there are these kind of uh, systems, websites, whatever, that is so obviously flawed created that a novice in the field could pretty easily get some sort of results. Now, when I'm saying results, I'm just saying it doesn't mean that you could fully compromise a server. Now, what you learn on websites like Try Hack Me or Hack The Box are phenomenal, but it doesn't really, ex doesn't really exist in the same way as they created. All their machines is intentional, vulnerable. Now, systems, live systems are not intentional, vulnerable. And you can make sure that if you find a flaw in a system, you will not be as encouraged as you want, try hack me or hack the box or whatever, to just start off any scan and throw all your tools and without even thinking about what you're doing. You will not do that. And in most occasions, you will not get the results you get on try hack me or hack the box because most systems do have some sort of out of the box configuration that will discourage to respond back to your scanning tools, enumeration tools, or whatever you're gonna do. But just to make it clear that it is not that easy and it doesn't really exist in the same way. Now, when I say it like that, you can of course always run an nmap scan or go buster scan or whatever type of scan you would like to do and get some sort of results back from that. If you do these kind of things, there's a great chance that the website you're scanning do have some sort of protection against these kind of things because they probably host a website or system or server or something like that on some, some sort of cloud providing service with some out of the box security, firewall, proxy security, whatever, you know, IPS, IDS, you know, to, to intrusion detection, prevention system, whatever. Now, to answer the question a bit more, how easy is it? Because I'm, I'm kind of talking about all the things that's not and what there is. How easy is it to hack? Now, what is a hack? Uh, I guess in the terms of most people's uh, hack is, you know, misusing some sort of software in a way so it's unintentional reacting to you to give you some sort of mm, information back. You know, I, I, I don't know. It could be like that. Um, and the second question is kind of a hack. It's a brute force, but this is more like a general question. I would say in general, if you go to the server that's online, how easy is it? not that easy you know it's it's not it's, it's not like a big country with, with, with just bad service I don't see that in Europe <clears throat> maybe maybe another another place in another you know country 
it is way different because people don't have the same account, amount of money or backbone or whatever. You know, I don't know how it is in, in let's say, India or Africa or USA, you know, I don't know. But it's a big, the big countries, there are many people and and I know that there are many poor people in, 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 in both, in all of the three countries that I just mentioned. And I know that some of the, the countries that I mentioned is, is, is more technology driven because it's easier to earn money through a computer because it doesn't really require anything else than just a computer. <clears throat> so maybe it's easier depending on where you are. I, I really, I don't like to talk about these kind of things too much because it, it, it's, it makes me uneasy about it because I, it would be unethical to say that some country is less secure. I, 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 you know, you could probably say that you have a blue and you have a green country and the blue countries are more secure than the green countries. Does these kind of, you know, does that kind of, you know, division exist? Yes, it does. But I'm not really going to say this or that country. I already mentioned three countries, but, you know, India is the leading tech country, you know, <laughs> and USA is... I don't know, in between, I guess. And Europe is, I don't know, again, in between, maybe. So it all depends on where you are in the region. And, you know, it's a difficult question to answer. So to be fair, how easy is it, is it to hack a website, system, or server? It depends. No easy answer. It is not as easy as many YouTube videos claim it is to be. How easy is it? Is it to brute force? Well, starting the actual brute force itself is quite easy. It's just the same. You learn on try hack me or hack the box, for example. A successful brute force is a little different because depending on the the website, the system, the mechanism you want to brute force, uh, what is behind it and in front of it and how, how is it coded? You know, will you be locked out? Is there some sort of detection going on? So it's easy enough to start it, but <clears throat> to get an actual result with brute force on a live system can be quite difficult sometimes because they've got some mechanisms going on, which is why you might need to write your own script to, you know, obey the rules of how, the, how their lock on mechanism works, which is why I need to, you know, find your way around it. Will I be detected fast? And with the question means, if you try to hack a system or something, will you be detected fast? That is another question that is kind of like the top one. How easy is it to hack something? Will I be detected fast? It depends a lot, you know. If it's just some some private web server going on, you know, hosted in the cellar, that might have very good security and you could detect it in the very first instance you try to do something different out of the ordinary for the next five seconds. Then you can find another company, just another server, which is configured 15 years ago and no one really cares about it. And it's, you know, some web page of kindergarten or some church stuff. You know, I mentioned the kind of things, not to bring in religion because I really don't want to do that. But I'm just saying that I do see I do see a website that is like kindergarten stuff, you know, church stuff, um, these kind of, you know, areas, you know, that isn't tech driven in a way. I, I hope you understand what I mean. I'm not trying to put anything, anyone in the wrong light here, but it, it's just what I see and, and I don't really feel it's wrong to see what is out there is out there. but. I guess maybe you will not be detected, but then again, they could have bought a, 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 a really good, you know, place to host a website or server system, whatever. It's difficult to say how fast. Um, I have tried things in the past, you know, unethical stuff and ethical stuff, mostly ethical. And, and I would say, like, depending on the log files, if there has any some sort of, you know, monitoring going on, if you don't have that, probably not that fast, you know, sometimes. But again, it depends on how we're going to do it. If you are 
bringing on brute force attack, you will probably be detected pretty fast. If you find a vulnerability that you can exploit with a few commands and get in, probably not. But, you know, it's a chance to take. Is viruses still active on computers? <laughs> yeah, you know, a beautiful question. Is it? Are they? Are viruses? Probably should be, but... Um, yeah, they are, you know. Maybe not, maybe not in the same way as you remember back in the nineties when you when you got a program from someone and it has like it had like some sort of you know keyboard bomb you know that whenever you pressed enter it wrote cheese on the screen so you could not press enter at all you had to reboot your whole system and boot up on a disk and remove the program manually and remove it from the you know dust stuff out to exit bad or config dot sys or whatever you know old days but these days viruses are probably more known more like as malware which can be found dozen places on, on an office you know if you visit a web page and it prompts you to download some exe file you know some program and install it in order to get some other program most likely you're installing malware, you know, because it's it's the way it is. And I've seen computers infected many times, you know, browser malware, computer malware, creating pop-ups and stuff, you know, just just some good old ransomware, you know, why? No one gets tired of a good old ransomware. I don't get it, but it's it's kind of, you know, it's a joke, but the question is very much, yes. The answer, sir, how do we get viruses? Um, Viruses, viruses, I guess. Um, well, I kind of answered that before, but you know, if you go download, you know, unauthorized stuff, you know, from torrents, um, shares, web pages that share, you know, free software and stuff, it could be. You know, they, they don't have the control of all the uploads and sometimes they upload a free copy of some game that is 20 plus year old and you can do that because it doesn't break and violate the license and then it doesn't really matter and everyone wants to play Doom 1 or Doom 2. Now it's free. And then you get a version which is infected and you get infected and you have some key logger and yeah, you know, maybe your Windows Defender will catch it and... And the hackers or the ones who make it might think they're lucky if they get one hit out of a hundred downloads. Maybe they get one hit back with some sort of information and they they win again, you know. So yes, that is one way through browser vulnerable vulnerabilities. Could be basically, you know, someone just scanning the network and find you have some sort of, you know, wrongly installed version of some software install and you know misuse that in some way with open hole in it and install something in your computer if that is the way the vulnerability works but it's not that easy you know it's uh, <laughs> it's like the first question how easy to hack how do we get viruses it's kind of the same boyard but i hope you understand what i mean now to debunk Last question is called YouTubers. I'm gonna make an exclamation mark at the end because I I am personally really mad with some of the YouTubers out there. I'm not mentioning any names, but they do these kind of videos that attract, you know, people and lie about how easy it is to do stuff how easy it is to hack a website or your your website is doomed you know titles like that I, w I, w I would say like this that is clickbait you know I don't like these kind of things and I find it not good it's not, not really something that I would you know recommend to anyone so please try and avoid these kind of promise too much videos because they're most likely BS and I would like you to make up your own mind what is it you want from YouTube videos is it knowledge and education or is it easy entertainment and just something to brag about 
if it's the last one, something to brag about in easy stuff and entertainment, maybe my channel is not for you. I see myself as a very serious YouTuber and I really want to create the best content ever that I can do for you. So I start on a level that is low and I grind myself up higher and higher. And eventually I hope I have enough content to create awesome playlists and maybe someday I could create some certificate stuff going on, which is, I would really love to do that. Free education, you know, certificate. And I know that it's a dream, but it would be nice to have some sort of, you know, acknowledgement from companies and stuff like that. A free education is very good and could be just as good as a school education if it's done well enough. I'm not there at all, not at all. I'm still crawling up the ladder. I'm trying to do my best. I hope you learned something from my videos and I just have to stop the video now, I think, because it's getting long. I answered the questions. If you're not in agreement with me and with the answers, you know, please leave a comment below and make it easy for me to understand why you disagree. Maybe I, maybe I've formulated myself a bit weird or odd because English isn't my natural language, but I'm trying, so I'm sorry if, if I use the wrong phrase or something like that. All right, so just as always, I will see you again and hope to see you online. Keep learning, have a nice day.